Shalom, uh, giving all praise unto Abba Shim Al Shai, Bashim Kwa Hakodash. Uh, double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone and honors you brothers to be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And above I body are coming out here to give you this truth for the grace and mercy of your heart, Bashim Al Shai, Bashim Kwa Hakodash. Uh, giving all praise unto Abba Shim Al Shai, Bashim Kwa Hakodash. Now, this is going to be a really uh, quick video. And um, I was watching a video from the um, from the brothers in London. And one of the brothers had made a, a fantastic point regarding uh, the notion that Esau the Red Hebrew Edomite is going to be, you know, you've got Jake's out here trying to make provision for Esau the Red Hebrew Edomite to make it. And they're trying to bend all kinds of scriptures to have it to where Esau makes it. And you know who we're talking about? The most bugged out camp within all of Israel, the GLCC. And it's really easy to see how these uh, these Israelites here, these Jakes that you got out here, uh, have got what's known as Stockholm Syndrome. Now, the, the the point that the brother had made was this, and it's a beautiful point. Here it is when Esau had the upper hand, right? Because when we're speaking about the kingdom, when we're speaking about Esau being eliminated, pursuant to the book of um, Obadiah, the first chapter, and the 18th verse, and many other scriptures alike, where we say, oh, not say, but where we read, right? Via the spiritual intervention of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashim Shai, where we read, right, that the red Hebrew Edomite is going to be destroyed and he's going to be wiped off the face of the earth. And we teach that. When we see these particular principles within the scriptures and we push it, okay, it's not it's not because we're bitter, it's not because we got some 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 vendetta of which we're supposed to have a vendetta against this man. You're supposed to feel some type of a way about your people being put into hardcore captivity after for, for, for 400 years. You're supposed to feel some type of a way about that. What's the hell, what the hell is wrong with you Negroes, man? Right? What the hell is wrong with you Negroes? But more than anything, the spirit of the Heavenly Father is that is such that he's created an entity that he's got a perfect hatred against. you got to realize that. you got TV programs out there where you have a, a director and a writer. Let's say Christopher Nolan sits down with his brother and they write up a, a script. And they say, ooh, we, you know, we like the Joker, but the Joker's going to be destroyed. That's how I wrote the script. This is how I created the movie because we created the perfect villain. This is what we was aiming for. We was aiming for a guy that even us watching the movie, we go, we're going to hate this guy. We're going to love to hate this guy. And the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashim Shai created an individual that he, he, he loves to hate. Okay? That he will love to destroy him. That's that's the that's the that's the purpose to which the red Hebrew Edomite is has been created. We have got Jake's out here trying to make provision within the, for him within the scriptures. Now check this out. We got what's known as the slave Bible here, right? Now Hebrew he Esau had the upper hand. They had the scrolls. They had the knowledge, right? They stole all the records from us. Okay, Hebrew he were serving hardcore captivity, and this man didn't put no scriptures with it. He took away all the scriptures pertaining unto hope and rebellion. He took all that away. And gave you some digestible version of, of the scriptures that meant that led to the point and led to the position that you need girls, Hispanic Native Americans find yourself in right now, trying to save your master. You see how this man is, you see, you see how this man is butt broken you Negroes right down onto your spirits. You're mentally retarded if you're thinking that the, the red Hebrew Edomite is gonna make it on the chariot. The most I said it up to where this guy's gonna be destroyed. That's simple. But like the el like the elder said, it's a simple point, but it's really it's like a, it's like a beautiful point. Really, it's like a it's like a really beautiful point because here it is, you've got Jake's out here trying to find scriptures within the Bible trying to save Esau. But when Esau had the upper hand, he didn't give you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans that. He gave you Caesar Bolger and said, "You bow down before me, boy." He got you up there with your grandmother in some damn church, as as dark as you are, as black, you know, quote unquote, as black as you are. You're dancing to this. Doggy stringy, you know, <laughs> bowing down before some Edomite and calling him Lord. That's how you Negroes, Hispanic, Native Americans came up, man. He didn't give you no hope. He didn't give you no, 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 no. Uh, um, um. He didn't give you anything to to look up to. He didn't give you an image of a, str a strong, strong, a uh, 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 a person that look, looks like you. He gave you himself. He said, "You bow down before me, boy." And you Jake's out here trying to save the the red Hebrew Edomite. What a damn shame, man. But that, that point that he made, that was a beautiful point because I thought to myself, hold on a minute. We got an example of that. We got the slave Bible. He would he done took all the goodies out of the slave Bible and gave you some 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 something, you know, light and digestible, but you ain't got no hope in it. Well, guess what? The most I set up his men to have it to a unique girls, Hispanic State Americans, you got the hope. So 
there's a scripture that I had in mind, but now it's just slipped my mind. There it is. Uh, um, the ass, the, the ass, I've, uh, the ass knoweth his master's um name, right? Um, the ox knoweth his owner, but my people doth not consider it, man. You Jakes are broken, man. You got Stockholm syndrome. You need to snap out of that. The most I said, well, King David said, I, I hate them with a perfect hatred. Now, when you got a perfect hatred against somebody, they ain't going to be some employees within your within your empire. Perfect hatred leads on to a perfect judgment, man. Perfect destruction. Um, Isaiah. Right, Isaiah, the first chapter. And this is uh, from the first, from the second verse. And it says, hear, O heavens, and give ear, O, o earth. For the Lord hath spoken. I have nourished and brought up children and they have rebelled against me. It's a rebellious thought to think that Esau is going to make it. It's a very rebellious thought. I guess it goes against the, the fabric of the universe, man. That goes against the fabric of life. The Red Hebrew Edomite is such that he's got to be destroyed. This is an individual that's got to be destroyed. Okay, look what they've done to the earth. When they with the Greco-Roman Empire, look how much negativity and death that they pushed within the earth. With the blessing of the sword, look, look how much death that they brought into the world. You got birds that they, they that just dropped out the sky a couple of days ago. I forget what I forget what what area of the world it was in. That's on the back of the Red Hebrew Edomite ruling within this within this world. You got it to where you got whales were beaching themselves persistently. And a lot of this news you don't see it get popped out on a, on on the mainstream, man. A lot of this news ain't going to make it on the mainstream because the, the mainstream is controlled. The mainstream is controlled. So you got a lot of things that happen within the world that are a, a direct result of Esau ruling. And you ain't going to hear about it because this man is the damn devil. Look at this, what they're calling so-called green energy with the nuclear uh, with the nuclear power plants. Okay, if they're so green, tell me what you're going to do with the nuclear waste. Now you go ask that to a so-called enlightened Red Hebrew Edomite. Dude's looking down at you when you're walking in, into the office all the day gone time because you think you're superior. Well, I ask you this, okay, everything's going electric. Where are you getting all that nuclear energy? What are you going, are you going to do with that waste? You don't figure out how to spit that at them, but you don't know how to put it together because you're a damn devil, man. You're a damn demon. Damn degenerate, man. Okay, you're a damn degenerate, man. Right, and I, and I hate you people, man. You damn Edomites. I hate you, you Edomites. You got problems, man. Okay, can't sing, can't dance, don't know how to communicate. Got the whole world speaking the, the, the worst version of languages. There's, there's, there's better languages out there than this, this English, man. There's better languages than that. Hell, I say the Latin was a bit, was, was a little bit be marginally better than this. Most people would agree that English is a bastard language, but you go into the, these other languages, everything works, works better. But language and image... That's that's a that's a fundamental part of your culture. That's why this guy went out there and gave you English, gave you the the, the um the suit and the tie, and the mannerisms. You got to walk and speak like an Edomite. You fly a plane, you walk and talk like an Edomite. Why? Because this is all a part of the image of the beast. Getting back onto the video, you got Jake's out here trying to save that. No, no, no. We ain't gonna have that in the kingdom. This man's gonna be destroyed, man. You don't forget. You don't forget. You don't. You don't forget who your master is. I've nourished you and brought you up. And brought up children and they've rebelled against me. The ox knoweth its owner, the ass is master's creed, but Israel do not do not know, my people don't consider. Now, the reason I read this scripture here is because they really we use this precept to um to uh, uh, um uh, speak about Jakes that reject the word of the knowledge of the Heavenly Father. Now, why why would this be important when you got Jakes that know that they're Israelites, but they're trying to save they're trying to save their their, their master, right? Because if you have a people that rebel against their master, <clears throat> They might know they they Israelites, but they got this 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 third verse speaks to, towards what Stockholm syndrome, man. You've been in, in slavery for too long. Your mind is broken, man. Your spirit is broken. Your whole your whole the whole fabric of how your how your mind works is is broken. That's why these Jakes is trying to save their their master, man. Look how much oppression we've done suffered underneath the hands of the Red Hebrew Edom, man. Look how much oppression. Jakes getting thrown off boats. Right up until this day, you see how these, these Edomites, they treat you. Here it is, they can put, put some damn George Floyd up on some TV screen, but you go you go to the job, you get treated like a like you get treated like a piece of shit, man. I'll tell you that for for, for for now. I'll tell you that for free, man. You get you get treated like a like third 
second class citizen. No, no, no. He's, they they can reserve the third class citizen to Elam. You're you you're below that. Okay, you're below that. And Jake is trying to save their their so called master. To hell with you, Jake's man. You can be destroyed right along with Esau. You can be born back into the kingdom as newborn babies. And we're going to smack you if you speak that Edomite, save the Edomite in the kingdom. <laughs> and I'm just being facetious. <laughs> okay, anyways, that's the video. With that, myself, praise unto you. How about you? How about you? Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone. And honestly, brothers, that be pushing this truth and sincerity. Shalom.